Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Discover 2016 Las Vegas. Brought to you by Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Now, here are your hosts, Dave Vellante and Jeff Frick. Hi everybody, welcome back to HP Enterprise. Hewlett Packard Enterprise, Discover 2016, HP's big, HPE's big user conference, customer conference here in Las Vegas. Uh, subsequent to the split, this has become sort of the flagship show in the U.S. They have a, a sister show in, uh, in Europe, in London, where I believe theCUBE will be there ne uh, next, uh, the end, Absolutely. Of the, end of this year as well. Uh, so today, uh, I'm here with Jeff Frick. Today the big news, Jeff, uh, is GE and HPE getting together. HPE, as we know, has made a big push in Internet of Things. We've had Dr. Don Bradichich on several times. He's coming on again tomorrow. Uh, they're going to be part of the keynote this morning. Big push in, 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 in IoT, really focusing on edge to core and all the devices in between, the data capabilities, the networking fabric, the storage and compute. Uh, again, end to end, really using things like Moonshot. Remember Moonshot several years ago announced this sort of you know, low, you know, small package, easy to distribute uh, 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 computing server architecture as fundamental part of their IoT. But the big news here is GE and HPE getting together. GE, of course, we know, industrial giant, turbines and, and aerospace. Uh, but what GE doesn't have, Jeff, is they don't have computing and networking infrastructure gear that HPE brings to the table. Yeah, yesterday, Dave, I was, I was able to get some time with Doug uh, Othout, the VP of IoT Marketing here at um, HPE, and he talked about this concept of kind of IT versus OT. So think of HP as IT, information technology, infrastructure, keeping the lights on. And what G's done, what large manufacturers have been doing for a long time is OT, operational technology, optimizing plants, supply chain optimization, those types of things. And what this, this kind of internet of things really represents is the coming together of those two practices in an integrated system. Because now you can take the data, you can take the exhaust off the sensors, off the sh shop floor, feed it into these algorithms that are really managed more by IT, kind of traditional big data space, to bring a better optimization to both, both parties. So it's a really interesting time. And the other thing he really talked about, as you said, it's edge to core. So there's all types of philosophies in terms of how much compute can you put to the edge? How, where do you put the security between the sensors and the edge compute and the network and then getting back in the core? And how do you keep bad things from happening if there's things happening along the line? So it's a really exciting announcement for HPE. Obviously, we've, we've been to the GE Software campus a number of times, talked to Bill Rue and his team. And the other thing that I think is really powerful is, it's, is they're looking, even like GE is looking beyond um, the jet engine manufacturing, but the whole experience from the time you leave your house to the time you arrive at your destination, oh by the way, there's going to be a GE engine that's powering the airplane in the middle of that thing. All right, we got to wrap, the keynotes are starting, this is a big deal. Bill Rue, your buddy, has talked about this being a $15 billion business for GE. The key to it for GE is Predix software, which uh, handles that distributed data, brings data back, and, and allows you to analyze that data. Okay, so we are going to cut over to the keynotes uh, very shortly. This is theCUBE. We're live here at HPE Discover 2016. We've got wall-to-wall -wall coverage all day. We'll see you right after the keynotes.